Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the channel. channel. Today, we are going to be talking about our not so favorite restaurant anymore. Yeah, we headed back to Disney World in Orlando and we checked out one of the restaurants that we used to love. Loved and this place. Uh, it was not a good experience. And so. we're going to talk about why and the different factors that go into that. Yeah, and this is our September Awkward Chats preview for 2023. So if you guys like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you want to hear the rest of this podcast, you can check us out everywhere you can find podcasts. Let's get awkward. <laughs> So Sana was an experience. Now, first, if you don't know, it's at Animal Kingdom Lodge. It's at the which one? Which house Kidani, is it? Kadani. It's at Village. the Kadani Village. So it's not. It's the DVC area. So it's yeah, a little it's quieter. Yeah, it's a smaller one. Uh, but you do still get to see the animals and stuff. So mm -hmm. no, no, no losses there. It's just quieter and, and smaller. And it's still nice. I, I have to say, oh, yeah. I, if I had to really choose between um, Jumbo, Jumbo, and, and Kadani, I would probably choose Kadani. Just for it to be a little bit quieter of an experience, yeah. Because we can value, we I get, we I think we genuinely like a quieter resort. So, yeah, yeah. I th I would say the only reason I wouldn't pick uh, Kadani, I pick Jumbo, is because you can do the concierge level in Jumbo. You cannot do that in Kadani. True. So okay, that's, that's a good point. Say. You would have to walk to you utilize yeah. that concierge yeah. level. Um, so anyways, but back to our Sanaa experience. So we got there. Everything's cool. We went out, saw the animals, hung out a little bit because we were a little bit early for our mm -hmm. reservation. Uh, then we went downstairs to check in. Same same look as it always has been. Mm -hmm. Same little covey area. It kind of looks like a cave. Where they and see, where there's you wait. similar elements to their menu that's posted outside, but there's definitely some changes mm -hmm. that we noticed right off the bat. But we're like, it's fine. We're just going to... We're just going to keep going and give it our best and we'll just go with the flow. Yeah, I think, too, it was it was about to like you want to give it a try. I mean, it is one of the more adventurous mm -hmm. restaurants on Disney property. I would say it probably is the most adventurous one on Disney property. Yeah. Uh, anything at Animal Lodge really would, would fit under that category. But um, it was always good and it was something different. We always went mm -hmm. out of our comfort zone. We tried something different. Like I tried the lamb chops there, really love them, um, you know, so so it was a good experience. Yeah, so we came into it with good prior experiences. And hoping that it was still good, yeah. Yeah, and we kind of thought um, coming back to Disney restaurants that they were going to be not that good. Um, and we were kind of correct. <laughs> for, two, for two different reasons. One, change of menu, change of chef, that kind of thing. But two... We've also had other dining experiences that have kind of set the bar higher. True. And we weren't sure that Disney was going to rise to the occasion. In part three, we've heard about all the cost-cutting measures in Disney. Um, so we got there. We get sat on a table. They sit us at a two-top. A two-top, y'all. Yeah. Uh, and that was the smallest two-top we had. We had another two-top. Uh we had a, California we, Grill. At California two. Grill, and that was okay. And then we also had a two-top at the uh, uh, Margaritaville or whatever it is that we had in the airport. Oh. And it was bigger than the table that we got at Sanaa. It was crazy yeah, small. Yeah, it was so tiny. And it was tucked in this back corner It was the no back view. corner against a wall. We were nowhere near any windows whatsoever. We had made a reservation, y'all. I mean, how do you make a reservation and not at least get sat by the window when people would just show up and put their name in and get better seats? Mm-hmm. I, I was I was like, this is not okay because we're going to order a bunch of stuff and the bread service is huge and it still yeah. was huge. It took up the whole table. The whole table. Uh, and we were going to get the bread service. We were going to get food, which piggybacks onto our waiter was trying to force us to order quicker. And mm -hmm. that would have been a huge mistake if we had let him do that to us. Yeah, because one, rushing us, not yeah. cool. But two, where, 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 where would we put it? Yeah. Where nowhere. are we going to put it? But... Yeah, the bread service was still good. Bread service oh, bread. was still amazing. Those three pieces of bread, the, the first three pieces, 
heaven, absolute heaven. I love them. They are so like doughy and airy and perfectly cooked. And mm, and then you add any of the sauces on them. Mm-hmm. Honestly, any of them are good. But there are some that are stellar, like the green sauce is stellar. Uh, yeah. The yogurt one is stellar. I mean, oof, man. Yeah. The bread service was absolutely delicious. The lamb kafta was okay. It wasn't yeah. bad. We got two apps. The lamb kafta was the second one. Um, so those actually were probably the two best things we had yeah. the entire night. Well, the funny thing about the lamb kafta is it could have just been hamburger. No one would know. This is true. <laughs> But we're going to pretend like that's not the case. I, I don't know. Disney's cheap. That's all I'm saying. But we liked it. It was it was good. I'm not, I'm not hating on it. The gravy that was on it was super tasty. And then we got to our main courses. And so I did the one that you pick um, a meat and a vegetable. And um, it comes with rice. So I did the braised beef. And basically they're red kidney beans with like a, um, I don't know the name of the sauce, but there's like a little uh, with a sauce and then it came with the jasmine rice mm-hmm. and it was okay. It yeah, wasn't, it was okay. Honestly, it wasn't hers great. Was all right. Yeah, it wasn't great, but hers was better than mine was I got the pork shank, which is just a meal. And then it comes with like black eyed peas, uh, leeks and some other stuff. A lot of, a lot of veggies. A for lot you. of veggies. Um, the pork shank was okay. It was kind of really dry. I wasn't really expecting it to be as dry as it was. The uh, black eyed peas and stuff were okay. Uh, I mean, I'm not a big fan of them, so it wouldn't have done much for me. But, you know, if you, you did, you might have liked it. Uh, we did order two drinks that were alcoholic. And they were kind of meh. Yeah. Like, yes, I didn't if- even drink mine. Yeah, well, he asked if we wanted dessert, and we we're like, nah, we're yeah. good. This is not, no. Not we left, time. I'm not going to lie, I think I left, oh, I left hungry. hungry. Oh, I left hungry, yeah. Yeah, and I don't think we really got anything the rest of that night. Well, we were going to go to Jumbo and get some uh the zebra poop or whatever they're called. Oh, yeah. The dessert, and then we didn't ever yeah, make we it didn't that far. walk that far. Probably my own fault, because I wasn't thinking, but... So, um, but we did go over to Jumbo House and look at the like the merch yeah. and stuff. Yeah, we did. We did do that. So it was, and we also had reservations to better than sex that night. Yeah. And I actually, I think I ended up canceling them after that experience because I was like, do we want to be double disappointed tonight? Yes. And I don't think better than sex would have been a disappointment. But at the same time, I think we were just bummed because that was like our favorite place to just kind of feel like we were having a nice night, but not too expensive because it never really was that expensive Mm -hmm. Um, for Disney signature dining that it, the category that it falls under and to just not rise to the occasion was just such a bummer. Yeah. And and the, the service didn't help either. I mean, he was not very nice, not very knowledgeable, Mm -mm. constantly trying to push us. The Uh, table behind me dropped a glass that, almost hit my leg um that was fun and then um the table next to you got like sat and he kind of got stuck to the point i couldn't couldn't even get out of the table yeah i couldn't even get out of the table i mean there was was like so many layers of just meh and then we couldn't see the animals the entire Mm -hmm. point of eating there is to see the animals Mm -hmm. while you eat because hopefully you're not eating giraffe while you're watching a giraffe but nonetheless so you can see the animals there's no lambs there (laughs) so you can see the animals but you couldn't. We couldn't see anything. Mm-hmm. We literally were looking at walls, and it was like this stinks. Yeah. So it just, it, it just, it was a bum. It was a bum. It was probably the worst meal. I think. No, take that. It wasn't we the worst. Chewies. It was. Yeah, we didn't get sick. It was <laughs> definitely one of the most disappointing Disney stops we made. Agreed. Yeah, we'll say it was the most disappointing. Um. But yeah, so that was our trip to Sanaa. To Sanaa, and then um, the next place we went no, to and was wait. and uh, so that concludes our YouTube preview of the podcast. Yeah, I was gonna say the next one that we went to was the uh, California Grill, but this part is going to conclude. So if you want to oh, see sure the, she was. Yeah, I'm sure she was. that's where I was going. Okay, sorry, my my fault. Okay, you want me to start it over? You're gonna splice sure. this. No, I'm not going to splice it, but you can start over. 
<laughs> it's going to sound real stupid. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, what I was going to say is after Sanaa, the next dining out that we had was California Grill. So if you guys want to hear that story, you're going to have to either... Yeah, hop on over to where podcasts are found so you can hear the rest of this podcast. And if you want to see the rest of this video, uh, head over to Patreon. Yeah, where we're going to have the video. So that's going to conclude our YouTube preview. Yeah, so if you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And ring that notification bell so you get notified when we do at least three videos a week. And we will come and get y'all for the next one. And for those on the podcast, we'll be back in just one moment. Ain't that the truth, baby Ruth? Bye, everybody. Bye.